Reporter.com, the Reporter Newspaper Online.com. As you can see where we at, boom, we got the sack. In my, you know, sometimes, you know, you gotta really think about what that really means. It says self advancement center, but Ace made it so it could mean something kind of freaky. Okay. <laughs> hey man, real quick, man. We got Maurice Star, J Star in the building, Ackland's legend. The man that makes things happen. If you trying to be a star, you get with a star, he'll make it happen. Listen, the shirt, the movie, the movement is happening. Tell somebody what's going on with it, baby. Well, Rhyme Slayer will be out February 13th, 2018 on Amazon. Only on Amazon for a few weeks, then we're going to switch to like other platforms. Ace is photobobbing you on the back. He's looking goofy. I can't way. see Ace behind me. I don't know if I want to see what Ace is oh, doing. Oh, man, he putting a full-blown show up oh, in there trying Lord, to steal your man. shine and stuff. Facebook, man. Hey, man, real quick, man, <laughs> tell somebody about the movie, and um, let's just give me a synopsis of the movie real quick. S synopsis of the movie is it's a um, hip-hop contest with a record um, record um, deal attached to it, and you got five contestants, and like any slasher movie, um, you know, when you got like a top prize, you know, you got people that's going to end up dead, come up dead. So, you know, they, they fight them for that top spot. Okay, okay. So, uh, one thing that I like about what you do, you keep it all the way Akron. When you're in Akron, I know you'd be out in California, in Spanish Gold and all that, but when you come to Akron and you do your projects, you do it with Akron. That's all right. Speak on that. Speak about some of the people that you chose to be on this particular one, well, just this album right here. In this um, Rhyme Slayer movie, we wanted to go with a hip hop vibe, you know. So, one of the keys and like one of the goals behind Rhyme Slayer was was to get more of a black audience into horror. So we decided to go with something like hip hop. And um, in Rhyme Slayer, we have um, we have a lot of um, rappers from Akron's hip hop communities either making a cameo in the movie or providing some tracks or actually being in the movie. Um, Matty Matt, you know, he's, he's playing solo. He's the lead. We have um, Stilo. We have um, T Vix. T Vix, my man T Vix. I was getting to him because mm -hmm. we just dropped this video today to Rhyme Slayer. Big ups to T Vix. You can also um, see that at AkronHipHop.com. Oh yeah, AkronHipHop.com. We got my man um, Lavelle Duncan Black. We got um, Rob Bruce was in there, you know, so King Loke. King Loke was you in know, there. Yeah. Um, so we, you know, we got we got a lot of different. Um, my, oh yeah, my man, I can't give it give it up to the legend. You know, KC was in there as well. Mm -hmm. You know, so he he had a cameo. So you know, I just wanted to put like the faces out there because you know, even though Akron is a small city, you know, we doing we do we do big things here, and we've been doing big things here for for a long time, at least for the last like 20 years. You know, so we've been doing real big things here. I mean, we got the underground hip hop community, we got an underground just total music community in general you know underground art community and now you know we got that like underground indie film scene that's breaking out you know so you know it's it's big here man you know and that's the good thing but sometimes you know every now and then um we gotta pop our own collar but you are so modest to do that i'm gonna do it for you you have been doing it putting everybody else on for years right and when you right. said that um that underground indie film vibe here you kicked that off. Somebody got to give it to you. Yeah. You don't want to wear it. Yeah, you kicked it off. I mean, in the in the way that it's going now, I have. But, you know, there was others that came before me that inspired me to do what I do now. Like, I'm, I'm a book, I'm a big fan of J.R. Bookwalter. You know, we also have my man, um, Tim Conway. You know, he did Killer Nerd, like, mm -hmm. back in the, the, like, 80s, 90s, you know. So, you know, there's, there's um, pioneers that came before you, before me. But, you know, nobody really touched you know, the street and the city and the core of the city, you know, the way I have, you know, and like inspired, like, you know, um, I've inspired rappers to become like, to make movies, you know, I've inspired like people to go out here and, and make their own videos, you know, and, mm -hmm. and it feels really good. Like when you have somebody that come up to you and be like, man, I used to watch you on TV, man. And yeah, you, you used know, to do you TV. Know, yeah. You know, yeah, you know. You, you had your own program. <laughs> right, own yeah, program. yeah, you know. It was a wild, nice yeah, program, you know, was, too. Those was, was some wild episodes, man. Right. Me and my man, Octavius, big ups to him. You know, he just had a birthday the other day. I'm going to keep his age a secret. Happy you know? birthday. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, so it feels good when you got people out here saying, hey, man, you know, because of you, I'm doing this. You know, and Love. you're getting right. your flowers. You're getting <laughs> you your flowers know. now, and yeah. that's what's up. So let me ask you a question. First mm -hmm. off, um, you you still do music videos? If you is there? I mean, if I feel the concept is right, I'll do a music video. Uh -huh. You know, so that's that's not something that I really advertise anymore. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. So I can't say if you want a video down I mean, here. if you want a video, you can talk to me. What's you that know? number? How they gonna get in contact with well, you, Well, you bro? can get in contact with me on Facebook, Maurice Thomas. Or, you know, I always put my number out there. Same know. number? Same number always lasts 20 years. Look, a businessman told me, like one of the first business people I ever met that I looked up to, told me, 330-459-5539. He told me, don't ever change that number. If I'm going to stay in business, don't ever change that number. And I done had that number for over 20 years. And this dude done had about five or six numbers. But still. But that, but the, that knowledge that he just yeah. he kicked to you was the truth, man. Oh, you yeah. get that residual kickback right. that, uh, that that comes through from different relationships is dope. Uh, I keep my numbers for a while, probably not as long as you. Antoine Samples. That's all I'm going to say. Hey, that's I, my I'm dude. Gonna about there. <laughs> Antoine, that's my dude, too. Right? Well, listen, man, real quick, right. tell somebody right. where they can pick up the uh, movie and everything. Well, right now, we you know, we're just doing strict release on Amazon. Pretty soon we'll have... Um, We'll have digital copies for everyone. Of course, if you want a digital, if you want a copy of Meet the Jones, you can always get that. Just inbox me on Facebook or, you know, hit me at 330-459-5539, you know. Hey, Reese, man, right. I appreciate you, man, a whole bunch. Thanks for always helping me and my brother. How you been instrumental uh, of ushering me on TV? Man, yeah. I love y'all, Yeah, man. yeah, 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 yeah. man. It's like one, one thing I was like when I was younger, man, I always wanted to work with Ace and D. Get out you know, of here. So that's one of the things that I've done, you know, one of the things that I've accomplished. Hey, Reese, I'm behind the camera, son. This is hilarious. This is a split flop. Yeah, yeah, this is hilarious, man. Listen, man, I can talk to you all day. Thanks for answering the call, man. You know, I'm, I'm behind you. I got your back, Black. Uh, in the meantime, in between time, have some fun and get something done. More importantly, you better feel me before they kill me, y'all. Peace.